Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today I got a new Stingray mod project for you. And this one is pretty crazy. Let's do it. A little while ago, Ernie Ball Music Man announced their Dark Ray in collaboration with Dark Glass Electronics. Inside that bass is essentially the Alpha Omega distortion and fuzz circuit paired with a two band preamp on top of that. So it was utilizing a five knob control plate and on top of that had a three way switch for the different uh, fuzz and overdrive modes. Now onboard effect circuits are nothing new, however they're not very common and we really don't see them a lot, especially in the bass world. Now don't get me wrong, the Dark Ray is very cool. However, it is also $2,700 or so. It's between $25 and $2,700 depending on which edition you get. But some people may want to experience the whole distortion circuit at a budget. And I was thinking about how we could accomplish the whole Dark Ray thing with off-the-shelf parts. Now, we're not going to get the exact circuit that the Dark Ray has. Just going to throw that out there right now. We're going to be using off-the-shelf parts, including an onboard distortion and uh, fuzz circuit, as well as the Dark Glass Tone Capsule preamp. So this is all stuff that you can buy yourself, and we're going to go through the whole installation process and hopefully turn this Ray 34 uh, Black Edition into a DIY Dark Ray. That is our goal. So let's get started. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Now before we begin, let's go over the parts that we're going to be using. First and foremost, we're going to need a Stingray. We're going to be using this Ray 34 Ash Black Edition and a slew of parts that I'm going to go over now. In the forefront is going to be this right here, this little guy. This is the Artec QDD2 onboard distortion and fuzz circuit. This has four different distortion modes as well as a clean circuit. So you have a bunch of different tones to choose from here. Now I've never seen any footage of this being used on a bass. So I'm very excited and very curious to see what uh, this is gonna sound like at the end. Now on this, there is a little blue trim pot here, which is a gain control. Now looking at how this trim pot connects to the PCB, it's just through three little connectors. What else has three lugs or connectors? And that is a pot, a regular potentiometer. So I'm going to go ahead and yank this out and replace it with a full size potentiometer. So we're going to have an onboard gain control on top of this. Uh, four or five way, whatever it is, uh, distortion circuit. And this is going to be paired with a dark glass tone capsule. So we are going to have the three band tone capsule as opposed to the two band dark glass preamp that is in the Stingray or Dark Ray. Um, so theoretically, this should be more flexible than the Dark Ray. However, it's not going to be apples to apples because I mean, these are different products altogether. Um, but I'm still very excited to see what the end result is going to do and how it's going to sound. Now, how are we going to fit all of this onto a four hole control plate? Or not. I got myself a five hole control plate from a Stingray Piezo pickup edition, which has an extra control. Um, I purchased two of these and uh, I'm going to potentially work on getting a schematic or something that someone can cut out uh, if you wanted to make something similar. Um, and this should be perfect for mounting all the controls that we need. And hopefully we'll be able to fit that into the Stingray control cavity. I have no idea how this is going to turn out or what's going to happen and I am just very excited to get started. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is just build out the concept control plate. Now, if everything works, I have a second control plate that I will paint black, and then we'll do something with this one. But uh, I just want to build the concept first and make sure that it works before going any further. So first, we're going to have a volume pot, and that is going to be positioned right here. And next to that, we're going to have the distortion circuit the distortion gain, and then the last two will be our three band preamp. 
and we'll be utilizing this noble stacked pot in order to accommodate the dark glass preamp which is a three band into uh, two holes let's get the preamp out of the bag here we go and we're going to remove the controls To replace this blue trim pot, we are going to be using a 10K pot, a B10K. Uh, it should work, I hope. <laughs> so let's get started first with the dark glass preamp and getting our stacked pot all set up. Okay, now that our stacked pot is prepared. I'm going to go ahead and move that off to the side. Let's start uh, working on our distortion circuit thingy. So we have four little solder points here. Uh, one of them is a ground point. Now this doesn't need to be the spaghetti that it is right now and we're going to do something about that uh, in a little bit. First let's go ahead and unsolder all of these. We're just going to take our soldering iron, just touch it ever so lightly until our water, our wire disconnects. So now that those are disconnected, everything is clearly labeled. We're going to go ahead and resolder some wires to that in a little bit. Next, to get rid of this little blue trim pot, we're just going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm not going to desolder it because I might damage the PCB. So instead, we're going to snip it and then use the metal contact points. And if my hypothesis is correct, these three points should coincide with the three lugs on a potentiometer. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach the pot on the other side. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and just mount everything on the control plate. Okay, so we are just getting started. Uh, we have everything set up, but now we basically have to wire up uh, the output, the power, and essentially uh, start prepping everything to go into the base. So we have the basic structure already set up here, but nothing is attached to the preamp yet, and we have to finish wiring up our um, distortion circuit right here. So next, we are actually gonna wire up our ground coming from the pot onto our PCB here. And the ground here is then gonna have another wire going into the ground spot for our preamp. Okay, it looks like we are about done. We are ready to connect the base to the control plate and let's see if it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it right here and then uh, next you're gonna see us installing this in the base. So stay tuned. Okay, now we have our Ray 34 on our bench and we are gonna try and install this new control plate with a built-in distortion circuit and the dark glass preamp. First things first, I need a screwdriver. Okay, let's go ahead and start removing the stock control plate. We have our ground wire, we have our, uh, I believe, output wire, we have our battery lead, and our two pickup wires right here. I am going to go ahead and just snip these. And our old preamp is removed. Let's go ahead and put this off to the side. It looks like we have a bit more room here than we did on the original uh, or on the SUVs. So that is good. 
Let's go ahead and trim the ends here to get some wire exposed. And this will go right over here. There we go, and then the ground wire. Then we are going to attach our battery wire. Okay, and then we just need to attach our hot and ground wires from our jack here. And then we worry about lining this up and popping this in. And then finally our output wire right here. And that is it. We have everything connected now. We're going to go ahead and see if it fits. It's going to be a bit tight, but we're going to do our best here. Now let's go ahead and see if it works. Holy shit, it works. And we're back. The proof of concept is complete. And it works. I am very excited to show you guys how awesome this thing sounds. So as you can see, I have a chrome control plate on here. I'm gonna be replacing this with a black one that I'm going to paint. I just wanted to put together the proof of concept to make sure it works before I go through the whole uh, extra effort of making everything color matched. But it does work. So let's plug her in and see what this sounds like. So what you heard was the clean mode. This is bypassing the overdrive circuit, the QDD2, and going straight into the dark glass. Now let's go into our first overdrive mode, which is called the clean boost. That just boosts the signal a little bit and now utilizes the gain knob as well. Let's compare that with uh, the clean boost off. You see that the gain knob is functioning now. And there's just a little bit of bite right at the top end. The next mode is uh, more drive. And as you can see, the gain knob is functional here as well. And this overdrive circuit is actually sitting before the preamp, so we can actually mold this sound using the dark glass three band that we have in here. That was with the mid scooped and the bass and treble boosted to about 50%. Let's bring those back down to center. And here is our next overdrive mode. This one even has more grunt. Oh, 
that sounds mean. And right now I have the gain at about 50% because at 100% this thing just roars. <laughs> That's not even our final overdrive mode yet. Let's go ahead and activate that now. I'm gonna turn the game down for this one. <laughs> So the last mode is the most aggressive mode. Essentially you're going from least aggressive to most aggressive as you go through the five different distortion modes here. Um, and again, this sits before the dark glass preamp, so then we can take this sound and mold it with the dark glass. Let's go ahead and cut the mids and boost the treble and bass a little. Now I'm going to do a separate video going through this whole setup in depth, and perhaps we might even compare it to the actual Dark Ray, which I don't have right now, but we may snag one in the future. But for now, I am very impressed with how this came out. Again, I am going to be using a black control plate for the final version. I just wanted to put together this proof of concept and show you guys, because I was just super interested with how this would work, and even if it would work. But it does, and I am very happy with the end result. So keep an eye out for some more content starring our new DIY Dark Ray in the near future. But until then, sayonara. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about our DIY Dark Ray, featuring our Sterling by Music Man Ray 34 Ash Black Edition, an Artec QDD2 overdrive circuit, and the Dark Glass Tone Capsule 3-band preamp. And as always, until we groove again.